So we could talk about all the technical things, but I'm telling you that have an inspiration. Look out for that inspiration. The inspiration of the Almighty that giveth understanding. That is what will charge you up for what you're about to do. When I learned these things, I realized that, oh, so then even if you want to write a song, it can be easier if you know how to draw inspiration. So I know when I just received a song. And I know when this one, you are supposed to like, like in church, when pastor says, um, this year, our theme for this year is my year of manifestation. I want you to write a short anthem for the year. I know where to draw inspiration and how to draw inspiration to put, it, put that song together within a short while. Then now I send to maybe the instrumentalist, I, my own be this, you to go and draw your inspiration and also do your own. Then when we come together, we will now together come and arrange the song. I know how to draw that inspiration. So one tissue Krana, understand that there is a spirit in man and every human being has a spirit or is it. And that spirit that you are or that spirit that you have receives inspiration by, from the Almighty that gives you understanding into what you have to do. My man of God does not say it inspiration. When he quotes the scripture, he says that there's a spirit in man. And the inspiriting, that spirit that is in you, there is another spirit that spirits that spirit. It is called an inspiriting, an inspiration, a stirring up of your spirit. An information release, like a watering of your spirit that will now give you understanding. Amen. So, one teacher cry, there's a spirit in you that gives you inspiration, that receives inspiration from the Almighty, that will give you understanding in this thing that you have to do. I think I came to do exhortation rather than to teach. But if, you, if there's anything you should be aware of that I want you to understand, it is this one thing. As a music director, if a choir member has a problem and they come to you, it is by inspiration that you can advise them. It is even by inspiration that you can study and know everybody's problem. It is, it is by inspiration that you can pick up and say that, I think this person, let me rather give this person this song and give this song rather to this person. To know how to train and to raise people yourself, to know how to grow yourself, you, you, you should know that as an inspiration. It is something that teaches you from within. Most of the time, and I might end with this, most of the time, we use the word, maybe when I write it, it will be easier for you to understand. Please check my spelling for me. This is intuition. Is the spelling correct? Intuition. This intuition is just two different words. There's in and there's tuition. It's simply two different words. Inner tuition. Inner tuition. And if you know tuition, it speaks of teaching. There's a spirit in man. If you replace inspiration with the teaching or tuition or intuition, it is, intuition is an inner teaching. A teacher within you that now teaches you what to do. So I say, I feel I have an intuition that I have an intuition to do this. It means something, somebody inside of you, in your heart or in your mind or in your spirit, that is now teaching you, that is now telling you, showing you what is going on and what you can do. You know, sometimes you can do everything, but the administration is going bad. The sound is okay. Everybody is playing well, but you are not feeling what you, you want to feel. The move of the spirit is not coming. And you don't know what to do to make it right. Intuition. 
Maybe you need to change the key. Just coordinate. Or maybe you need to break down and start all over again. Or maybe you need to break down. Or maybe you just need to tell the people to lift their hands. It goes beyond all our technicalities. And all our so-called musical principles. This one is what the extra thing that you need that informs your creativity around the work you have to do. So even if you don't remember inspiration, remember intuition, the inner teaching. So that is what will tell you that, oh, then here, apply this thing that you learn. Apply this thing. Apply this thing. Tell the people to dance. Ahano pray, speak in tongues. Ahano munye modulation. Na ahano munye syncopation and all the technical things. That is what will tell you what to do at what point in time, and it will work. Amen. I think I've I've done well, and I said. So please, that is what I came to present today. One teacher cry. Inspiration. Amen. Do I take questions or? Yes. So please, if you have a question, any question at all, they could be related to what I just shared or if you remember something from last year and you have a question. I've now seen a few faces from last year. Amen. So if you have any question at all, I'll take it now. Sorry, you said something about, um, you asked the question, you were like, so if something goes wrong when you are, if you're supposed to go and minister or something, what would you do? Yeah. But you didn't tell us what we would do or what you would do. So, okay. So, um, for me, it would depend on what is going wrong. You understand? Um, it could be anything that distracts you. For instance, when I, when I started teaching, let me use that. When I started talking today, I was a bit distracted because movements distract me a lot. But I realized they were working as well. That's why I said you should come and play. I just needed something to take my attention from what was distracting me. That is what I was inspired to do. So I just told him to play. You realize when he stopped playing, I didn't even... At, at first, when he stopped playing, I told him to continue. But later when he even got up, I, because I had now taken my mind off that already. So it is still an inspiration that you will need to now tell you what to do, depending on what is going on. If it's a microphone that went off, maybe someone will come and take the microphone. Maybe you'll be inspired to take from your BVs. If you don't have a BV, you might decide to walk closer to the congregation and keep singing. You understand? Or anything. So depending on what went wrong. I remember years ago, um, Royal House, Michelle Camp, the one just had a roadside. We went to do administration. We went early. We, we did sound check and everything with their board and um, it was a cog workstation. I remember perfectly. My brother was on the keyboard. Yeah, by I had sound check BBR and then we went to eat. We went very early so we went to eat everything. The program started. When it was our time. Yeah, I banned them. <laughs> when it was our time to do the administration. So there were two, no, there were two keyboards. There was the casual, and there was the Korg workstation. And my brother was conversant to the casual in the Korg, no one Korg. Because when you say, oh, mostly, I think most keyboardists have a problem with the Korg workstation. Some people don't know how to operate it. And I just said, casual, no, it's not a Korg, no, oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, and I was still singing. I was still, I have to sing. And I told the drama, Charlie, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bogumsa. We have, we, by the time our old Mishisha, or more Bibi Shisha, then I will see called back, we see, no. Now, administration, no. We were done. But, you understand. So anything could go wrong. But, and that is why I mentioned composure. First of all, you have to maintain your composure. Everybody should not know that you are, you are, you are disturbed by what has happened. So, 
I'm, I'm not tensed that um, my performance is not good. I'm not worried that it's not going to go well. I have to find a way to be able to still make an impact without that, for the people to still realize that I made impact regardless. Please, you get me. Uh -huh. So it is the inspiration you get at the moment, depending on the problem that is at hand. It could be the BVs that are spoiling the song. Mostly, if it's the BVs, me, mostly, for me, mostly, I, I can tell them to stop. Yes, I'll either tell them to stop or if there's a stage attendant, I tell them, tell the sound guy to turn their mics off. So they'll be there doing like this while by the time of a song, my mic, let me view. I, I can do that as well. Or if I'm a BV and I realize that maybe this guy's key is too high for me or the song he's lifted, I don't know how to sing it. I'll off my mic and still be singing so that I won't spoil the song. As far as I'm concerned, I'm singing. It is you who can't hear me. <laughs> Amen. So it is, is, so depending on what happens, you just have to find out what you can do about it. I hope you are answered. With the BV sign. Yeah, they do that a lot, especially the auto BVs. <laughs> Amen. Is there another question, please? I, I, I can take maybe one or two more. The instrumentalists didn't ask questions. Last year, they asked questions about the consumers who don't let them drum. <laughs> strings, now they are there. Yeah, it was strings, now boys and bass. <laughs> Amen. All right, I think there's no question, so Whew, that's my time. Thank you very much, Pastor Victor. We are grateful for teaching us. Inspiration is very important. It's very, very, very important. Like he was saying, something may go wrong and then you tend to be showing it. You either give a face or you shout on somebody if you don't take care. Yes. And sometimes I do that with my boys here because this one there, I trust you nail it for me. But before I say Jack, I'm in them room, and I get furious. But we trust that the Lord will help us and we'll also build ourselves towards catching more inspiration from the Lord. Amen. Let's give it up one more time for Pastor Victor. Let's give it up.